Hey guys, it's Corinne. I'm just reading through Imagination Creates Reality by Neville Goddard. And in chapter two, I wanted to share a couple um, quotes or a couple paragraphs that Neville has here. We think from ideas or beliefs. We think from ideas that we consent to as true and we imagine situations that match our beliefs. Consciousness is the only reality. It is the creative principle that brings into your experience the exact duplicate or reflection of that which you imagine to be true. The world in which we live mirrors all that we believe and imagine to be true, be it good, bad, or indifferent. And then later in the chapter, Neville goes on to say, man must learn to believe in that which he does not at the moment see in order to grant himself that which he desires to have. Man's prayers are always answered, for he always receives that which he believes. The law that governs, governs prayer is impersonal. Belief is the only condition necessary to realize your desire. No amount of pleas or rituals will bring about the fulfillment of your desire, other than the belief that you are or have that which you want. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things seen, things not seen. The full meaning of this statement must be understood. A man would have no problem in accomplishing his aim. Um, Neville goes on to say, faith for what you want is already a fact, is the means by which you activate this invisible state. The state then is later reflected into your outer world. Creation is finished. God cannot create anything that is not already in existence. Faith or belief that you already are or have that which you desire is the only means by which to experience your desire. No limitation is imposed on that which you can have except your failure to assume possession of the quality or the thing you desire. Um, basically, we have to give ourselves what it is that we desire since all things are possible and that we are creating our world out of our own consciousness. The moment that we accept that we already are that which we want to be and walk in that faith and accept it as true and adopt it and assume it and identify it, the means of bringing it about will will its way back to us. And that is why I love reading Neville Goddard because his message is so powerful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to see you on the next video.